right hi everybody and welcome back to lundy's wild camp stroke bushcraft and as you can see i'm back out in the woods me and rooney have come out for a three day adventure um it's been absolutely pouring down all day it's uh, getting late now i'm just about to set up rooney's having an absolute nightmare he's just about to set up his hammock and he's realized that the gap's too big so we've relocated him and he's just at the back of me here getting set up mr rooney and shit a hedgehog see he's in a right fettle <laughs> and he's been telling me off he's been taking it out on me it's not fair but anyway yeah i'm just about set up and i'm gonna go and find somewhere to set up a social area for me and rooney just a little bit away from what uh, actual sleeping area because i found somewhere where it's going to be safer for a fire i did bring a collapsible wood um like a wood um a fire with us as well i've brought loads of kit to be honest it's been that long since i've been in the woods i forgot what i need to bring so i brought everything so this is my setup look this is uh the free free by free dd top camo and i've got the dd super light hammock in there um uh, special forces sleeping bag inside of that as well obviously i'll not go through all my kit because i'll be there all day we in our general stuff that you bring out into the woods so yeah, we decided to come to a brand new area and uh, get back into getting in the woods and enjoying some hammock camping. Rooney's going to be cooking some nice food this weekend as well, so happy days. Now, I'm going to try not to waffle as much as I can on this video because we're out for three days, so the video is going to be so long, it's going to be unbelievable. But there you go. You I'm straight into waffle Sorry, mode already. He's always, he's always interrupting us all the time, this but Mr. Rooney. as moist as the lady of the night in a very busy town. I'm putting the light on already, it's only half past five. Because yeah. we're in the woods, I'm not used to being in a dark area, a dark, damp, gloomy area. <laughs> Is not just because I'm gloomy? No, oh, that's because I'm, oh, that's much better. Um, I'm actually used to being on a, a windswept hill lately. Yeah. Yeah, so... But I, as you, as you know, the channel took a little bit of a dive onto the hills. I'm back in at the woods now, uh, but obviously that's when Rooney's out and about with us. Right, but I'm just letting you know, for all you wild campers and people fighting to go out for the first time, I've been doing this a slight few years, 30 odd years, and I'm still getting it wrong. So, don't be disheartened, just put it as one of them little challenges in life, right? What could be worse is it could be a midgey that bites you on the knackers and then it does get very <laughs> sore. But apart from that, smile. Enjoy. And the world will smile right, with Well, smile. I've come to the area where I'm going to try and set up a little lean-to shelter for me and Rooney and a fire area as well. Now, some of you that have been watching the channel for a while will probably recognise this area straight away. All right, so I'm just going to show you this quickly now. If you know where it is, Please don't say on any comments or anything, but yeah, we done a camp here once. Rooney was camped down the bottom there in, in the, uh, underneath the top, bivy bag in it, and he was getting flooded out, so we had to dig some drenches for him, something getting flooded out. And I was camped here under this tree, and this is where I'm going to set up the top. I'm going to put a ridge line going from here, and hopefully I've got enough cordage to get one all the way over to that tree there. Now, I had a fire area and all I done was I buried it. So under here, I had a base with rocks and they're still there. That's happy days. So all I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna go over the back of the wall, okay? And uh, I'll just quickly show you is, over the back of the wall, where well, they've got some loose bricks down on the floor here as well, and a couple of bits on the tops of the walls. And what we'll do is we'll just replace them when we're, when we're leaving. But there's loads of bricks down the bottom there so i'll just get around the back of there hoi them over and then i'll start making a fire area around that we don't want a massive fire in any way because it's quite mild to be honest i think i might have to um try and like put me saw on a stick and cut a couple of branches because there them branches are hanging quite over where we're going to have the fire and uh if i can get a lean-to sorted next to where the fire is it's going to be ideal but if not i can move the base of the fire closer to where the hammocks air uh, the tarp's going to be and will be sweet plus the bit of ground as you can see where my bag is that's lovely and flat there so we're going to have no bothers whatsoever 
happy days. Right, let's get crafting. Right, well, that's the fire area sorted. Rooney's um, now come over and we're just gonna sit and chill out for half an hour, have a beer, and uh, I'll just quickly show you the fireplace. So what we've done is, Rooney's gives a hand to polish it off as well. Oh, that's me light gone already. It's, um, I need to get my big light out because it's getting dark. So, let's put that on a bit. So as you can see, I've made the fire surround going around. We've got rocks underneath and then I've got a big massive rock on top of that just to cause a proper seal on the top and then some bits at the front just to stop anything falling off the front of the um, fire. But that's it really. So me and Rooney, I've got sat in my shelter look. Happy days, happy days. Let's get a So beer. like something that you don't normally see on the channel sort of thing is obviously like sort of um, Jimmy like Tighten up the suspender belt and that, but is we'll have an operational debrief on uh, how the deployment went. <laughs> and basically, this deployment was a pile of shot <laughs> on his half. Mine went sweet as a nut, like for a change, for it's a change, only the other, other way around, like, but Rooney, Rooney's turn. The midge so, is out, so I'm gonna have to get so the flex tail tip. gear um, <laughs> midge out. So, little top tip is if you didn't get Jimmy doing one of them speedy things setting up or whatever, that means he's had a nightmare. <laughs> I didn't do any setting up uh, video. You thought it was going to um, like the other Which is not, well, I, I haven't been out camera camping for ages and I just thought, right, I just want to get set up before the rain kicks in. And uh, it's something, it's different because every everybody does videos and they always show the setups and everything. And I just thought, nah, I can't be bothered. And obviously we're not going to do walk-ins or anything like that because we don't want to show the area off to anybody. And, um, it needs to be hush hush. So now wait, this is my first drink and it's now yes, quarter it's to eight. So good. cheers everybody. Cheers, cheers. Rooney mate. Good to have you back out. It's only it's only been about um forty one days since I last camped with Rooney. Well Oh no, I, it hasn't, sorry. It hasn't it's been forty one days since we're last in the woods together. We're up on Saint Saint Abs. And a bit of that debrief, um as as you re will remember, um obviously likes of Jimmy being hungry. Show me leather boots. We'll ask him what's happened to his tooth. I've cracked my tooth at work last night. Oh, that old chestnut. You know eating, what I mean? That old eating, chestnut. Eating boiled sweets. <laughs> it was the buckle on my boots that broke so, his tooth. I think it's I think it's either cracked or the fillings fell out. So I'm just hoping over the next three days I don't start getting too fake because I'll have to scrap the camp and go home like. Yes. But I've got plenty of painkillers and I've got some Jack Daniels. So you, you, you was on the phone? Rooney, when you're buying the shopping for a like small village, will you uh, make sure that it's like food that you can suck through a straw, so, um, so I can chew it, you know? So he's, but he's uh, totally anyway, against that eye. going back to the serious uh, thing of this operational debrief and how things can go wrong. If you're in the mood for buying an amic, which are very comfortable, but are very expensive, it's usually four big pieces between trees and that's enough for your amic and your amic top. Well I decided to bring me three and a half by three and a half because we got told this place was going to be as wet as a lady of the night in a very busy town so um, I decided to bring a bigger one so I took that into consideration on the setting up with it being rain I put my top up first and uh, when I went to put up the amic um, I was a foot too uh, far away, so I've had to take it down. And the reason being is, it's like all women talk about is, it was to do with the girth of the tree. Because it was a big girth, um, that obviously took a foot away from uh, me dimensions when I was measuring. Because Jimmy come across and he goes, oh Rony, that's a big girth, isn't it? <laughs> and um, he politely gives a hand to deposit that location and uh, I'm currently where I am now. Sometimes I'm um, posh man, like I deposit in that area. 
<laughs> hey, bloody hell, flip. Ew. Right, oh, and anyway, fuck, fuck. we're going to sit and chill out for, for a bit, talk amongst ourselves, drink these cans, and then we need to start thinking about getting some firewood. It's starting to get dark in here already, um, so I'm going to get my big light out, otherwise it's just going to be um, dark on the camera. And, yes. Uh, and we'll, then, we'll, uh, see yeah. us, we'll see us in a bit when we um, start getting the fire going. Right, good evening everybody. Well, me and Rooney have been chilling that long. It's got dark, it's five past ten at night. We haven't had no to eat, we've just been sitting yapping, listening to music and uh, talking shit really. But anyway, Rooney's made this little fire kit. I'll come up and give you a closer look at it later on. And it's basically um, some pads with some wax on. He's given us two, two, little, two little containers, waterproof containers. And I like his little fire thing on it as well and they smell lovely them so I think that'll take a take a flame uh, a spark knee bother so anyway the, everything's damp like it's been pouring down so I'm just gonna break this up just tear it in half a bit and yeah, I'm just gonna it. just need to be broke just like it's ten so then all right and I'm just gonna fluff the edges up a bit it's quite uh quite moist that like me Ah, uh, it shouldn't be that moist like. You know, and then we've got the ferro rod here. So we'll see if it takes a spark. If not, we'll um, pause the camera and we'll go and get a light that. Oh, look at that straight away. No bother whatsoever. I'm just going to put my ferro rod in my pocket. That's why you're only supposed to just tear a little bit because it keeps the wax on it. Alright. I'll see I've got loads of um, sticks already on the, on the bottom of the fire there. It's, uh, we'll see if it gets these alight. Because everything's like damp on the outside, that's soap and that one. It's as moist as a lady of the night. Aye, but it's been pouring down with rain in uh, the northeast for the last, what, um, about eight days or something. So, and it's been raining constantly on and off all day of the day. I'm just going to pile a few sticks up on the top of this. Let's just get a handful. Put them on. And the thing is, all the midges are out as well because we're in quite a damp area as well. If anybody's watched the channel before, you'll know that this area got absolutely swamped out the last time we come here. So that's why we've come back. Because <laughs> we just love it. But let's get a smoke. I've never had the smell of smoke on my clothes for ages. Love it, love it. So anyway, that's the fire going, I hope. It's um as long as the wood takes. Well that's I'm just gonna open it up a bit, let a bit of air into it. I think still burning away well. And as you can see by the smoke, it's it's nice and damp. I'm I'm gonna just let it go with just the one, you know, really, to see if it works. If it yeah. works. Then we'll, uh, we'll, well, ah, there, you, there you go, you can see the flame starting to come through there now. It's it's not the fire start, it's the wood. You know what I mean? Yeah. If your wood's not taking a hold, it means you've got too dark wood, we should have split it. Aye. No, I mean. But we'll, we'll see. And if not, I've got other fire lighters and all that can add to it. But there, yeah, it's, it's looking like it's going to take. So I'll just take you off my stand so I can move you close at the fire. I'm sorry there's not been much footage lately. Um, it's just me and Rooney haven't been out camping with each other for ages, so we're just having a chill. But as you can see there, it, it is kicking in like, you know. It's getting better and better as it goes, but the wood's soaking like. What's the name of them thing, Firestorm? Oh, right, and anyway, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look. Let's, this is a... There we go and look. Can you see it properly? Let's put yours in the light. Might be too bright that actually. There you go. Rooney's fire lighters. Rooney's fire doofers. Fire doofers. <laughs> so anyway, only seen here on Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. <laughs> so if you if you'd like to purchase some of these, speak to Rooney, not me. <laughs> We'll, we'll maybe have them in a giveaway. 
to uh, um, to one of our subscribers. Right. Um, you know, like I say, you don't expect anything too um, great, but like I say, it's a, a one-off sort of yeah, thing. It's a nice little tin, waterproof tin. Are yeah. waterproof? Yeah. There's about six of them, I think. Six. Yeah. Right. But like I say, just as a quick emergency fire starter sort so of thing. We'll have a look and see if the fire's took. But, on, you can talk. It's... But don't expect it to save your life. You know what I mean? It's just like a bit of fun. It's a bit of uh, homemade kufari. Right, well, if you would like to win a tub of these, <laughs> just put in the comments, please. Yeah, who can insult us the most? No, actually, what you will, what you will put on, if anybody wants to try and win it, win win some of these. Um, well, I don't know. Is put in uh, the comment, Rooney, oot, and a boot. Hashtag it. Yeah. I'll put it up on the screen as well. Rooney, oot, and a boot. I think we've got very dumb wood there because yeah, that's the, been going a good long time and it's not taken up. Yeah, it's, I think it's gone. Well, it's still going here. Is it still going? Right. Aye. I'm going to put the camera away and we're going to get this fire going because we need we to get... have to put another one on. Aye, Just well I will. Yeah. Oh, it's still going there, look. Aye. Still going, but we need something on. Right, I'm going to um, turn the camera off for now and I'm going to concentrate on getting this fire going because Rooney really needs to cook it. Um, I think he's making a Chinese curry or something. So it's going to be a late night. <laughs> See you later. Anyway, it's about 11 o'clock at night, me and we've just been sitting listening to music, dancing yes. around like clowns and uh, having a few jaws and um, we're just about, well Rooney's about to start cooking some tea, yeah. supper, breakfast. Yeah. So um, yeah, Rooney, what are we doing tonight then mate? We're you having, to your head towards China we're having teriyaki noodles with an abundance of vegetables. Oh. And... Um, more vegetables. Right then? With a bit of vegetables. <laughs> vegetables, you're yeah. a vegetable. Yeah. I've been Here we go then, so we're um, getting stuck into the food now, like, and uh, yeah, it smells really, really nice. I'm just going to try and get a bit of everything on the fork here, obviously not too much, like, because otherwise I'll not get it in my mouth. <laughs> you will do. Mouth of a mm. small village. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's really, really good, mate. Got to have Rooney back out. At least I know I'm getting fed. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's tremendous. So, like you say, there's um, soft noodles, peppers, mushrooms, onions, all sorts of stuff, chicken, loads of different spices and bits and pieces. But, yeah. That's really good, that leg. Really, really good. That'll fill me boots. Yeah. You'd yeah. be happy if you got this from the Chinese, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, definitely I. I'll definitely pay for this. Mmm. Yeah. That's really nice. So anyway, I'm not gonna come back anymore tonight. That's it now, because it's about 12 o'clock, half 12 at night anyway. So we get this set. We're gonna have a few more sherbets and listen to some tunes and we'll see you tomorrow afternoon. <laughs>
Yeah, probably, probably not like because uh, I didn't sleep that much. But anyway, thank you very much for watching so far. Hope you've enjoyed the first little segment, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Looney, cheers for time, mate. Supper. You're welcome. Really, really nice. Right, well, good morning. Oh my god, that looks dark on the screen. It's, um, it is dark underneath you, yeah, like. Well, it's 10 to 8 in the morning. It's been pouring down all night, as you can hear on the top there. And we've got good tree cover above as well. So I'm just busy laying on my top at the moment. I woke up about <coughs> half five, having to do a mad dash for a toilet. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was pouring down, like. It was a little bit breezy as well, but it's been nice and warm. Um, me and Rooney just chilled out last night. I think we nodded off and on in my chairs till about 2 o'clock this morning and then decided enough was enough and uh, hit the hammocks. So Rooney's just sorting himself out. He's got a little dilemma going on in his ear. His ear plugs got jammed, so we're going to have to try and get that out. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a damp, damp day today. But we knew it was going to happen. It's all part of the parcel. It's all part of the experience, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm just going to chill out for another half an hour and then get myself up, get sorted, go and find, try and find some dry firewood. I have got some left underneath the top from last night. So hopefully that's a little bit dry. And uh, we've got sausage, egg, bacon, beans and black pudding to cook within the next hour to two hours time all depending on how hungry we are Scran last night was amazing I had absolutely tons and I was kind of chopped like after I, I had like uh, food coma after eating it Right, well, me and Rooney have just had a bit of a medical issue, like we thought we were going to have to um, bail um, some earplugs that I'd done a review on a while back and Rooney was using them. Highly recommend not using them anymore, but they're bloody dangerous. So what's happened is one of the caps has come off and it was lodged right inside of Rooney's lug. That far that we couldn't get it with tweezers, so I had to get me, me multi-tool out. And uh, yeah, we're gone. So that's, that's the bit that cap goes on, you've got the end bit. Oh, I've got it in here. Put, get it out then. Hold the pliers. So I've had to get me thing, and as you can see, it's got like um, a little white cap inside. Now that pin there goes into there and it comes off. That's so you can sure you changeable. So that's how it goes. And that comes off. And it was kind of deep into his lug, like we couldn't get it, you couldn't touch it with your finger or anything. So we'll just do a replay, Rooney. I'll just put it back right, in. Put it back but in. You can right. see see how it goes there. All right, let's make sure my camera's on. Right, and we've had to get it went right in up to about I would say a good five mil in, five mil deep. It was deep. It, it was, was that deep, right? It was touching me one brain cell. It was making us think. <laughs> what time is it, Jimmy? Right. Jimmy was saying time for food. <laughs> and I was thinking, Actually, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Neither am I, because it's it's affected me one well, rain. I've had, so. to, I've had to actually um, run all the way back to the car in the pouring down the rain to check my first aid kit in my car. And the only thing I haven't got in my car is a pair of tweezers, but multi tool. And but just on that, that stinks. That <laughs> the Swiss Army knife, the tweezers on there, them weren't strong enough nah, to pull it out. Flimsy as hell. So I recommend that you carry another pair of tweezers you know I've got tick pullers and everything else mm -hmm. um, and it was just so happens the there, gerber your, was the last result there's your, there's your little yes. cap thing yes. I highly recommend uh, giving that a wipe I, I highly <laughs> recommend putting them in the bin they're going on the fire I tell you I'll tell you right. so I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a name up of these and I'll recommend not using them again because um, I think that's dangerous that but anyway 
it's a wet, wet, wet morning. I need to sort my tarp out and get it put in a better position. Uh, we'll get ourselves organised, get things squared away, and then we'll start looking at seeing about getting some wood, wood prepping things and. You know what it just is, Jimmy? a nice chill day. I've got to say this, since you've taken it out, I can feel the wind on the other side of me ear coming Aye. out. Aye. It's just blowing straight through, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, hey, it's great. It's like, it's you like a little wind. Should have, you should have heard him. He was whinging like a little baby. Me ears. I'm going to have to go to a &E. That's ah. it. End of the game. Uh, <laughs> I've had me legs chopped off, me arms chopped off, but I can't handle me... Like well, say, I couldn't handle anything to me. Yeah, at least like I can say it was. It would have been a proper medical thing because it was. It was lodged kind of deep in his lug, oh. and uh, I've seen people bail camps for less. That's so all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway, I've stuck the arms and legs on. You know, like I've had five heads, but out in your ears, oh, that's me. Is that the gun with your five chins? Aye, only <laughs> five chins. The centrifugal force of the force of the potato people <laughs> was right. like. Right, and anyway, now and the I'm medical thing's wife. over, get out of my chair. <laughs> no, I'm quite comfy, mate, so mate, it's a couple of while I'm on, you know. Army, army, hey, stuff, I'm, army, I'm stuff, a... army stuff's down the bottom, mate. <laughs> I'm still a patient, Look, you mate, know. you're not a feeble, oh, well, are you are feeble, like. I am feeble, aye. <laughs> see what it oh. says on his, see what it says on his headband then, energizer. He <laughs> needs something to get energised. <laughs> aye. Look at this, I'm going to try to get up, look. <laughs> see you later, Rooney. 20 quid for the medical um, emergency. Suck my hairy yellow. <laughs> it's not hairy anymore, mate. I've just pulled off the moot. <laughs> He's squealing like a baby. <laughs> right, well, we're just supping on a brew in the social area. And, uh, yeah. We're being quite unsocial. Well, we're being quite unsocial, yeah. Not speak to each other. <laughs> just sitting staring out. I actually feel really tired. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, it's never stopped raining. Um, Rooney's never stopped whinging about his ear. Um, I think I must have took a few hairs out and some, uh, if there was a tiny bit of wax on, like, we're going to start the fire at the night. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> can't knock it, mate, you can't knock it. <laughs> Free fire starter, because you want that. <laughs> I've got a nice pile of wood here, which is lovely and dry, that I saved last night underneath the tarp and put a black bag over it, which is good. We don't need a massive fire tonight, but it's basically um, something that Rooney's food that we'll, we'll show you later on. But Rooney's brought some food out um, that basically is just a heat you up job type thing that he made it with at home. We can talk about that later. Uh, right, well, it's 20 past 12, and uh, the only time I've moved is the nursemaid Rooney. <laughs> yeah. I'm like his little bloody, I'm like his little bloody nursemaid. Yes, I'm my cubby chef. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight on because it is, it's, I forgot how dark it can be in a uh, pine woods like. But it's never stopped raining all day like, so we've just been sat here. Here, night. Chilling. Uh, it's been raining all night and all day. In the area in front of where now we're starting to get a little bit swampy like. But as you can see, um, Rooney's having a nice cook up on a gas stove. We're not going to put a fire on to cook it, we'll have a fire later on just for uh, something to look at. We might not even have a fire yet. But anyway, I'm divulging from what i come to speak about. So we've got um, six sausages, is it? We've yes. got eight sausages, eight bits of bacon, four bits of black pudding, six eggs. I've got a tin of beans here as well, just in case. We've got some spicy cream and cheese and jalapeno. This is absolutely amazing. If you haven't had this before, Go and get it. They don't sell it in Asda, but many shop, many other retailers do. <laughs> I've just, I didn't realise, I forgot I had bought uh, two custard donuts, so there's my pudding. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I've got um, eight wraps here as well, so we're going to be stuffed. So, what the name of the game is, we need to put me shit all over things like, but never mind. What we're going to do is, we've got Rooney's big pot here, and inside of there, We've got my little um, pot. I'm going to boil some water when Rooney gets the first slot done. I'm going to have the water boil just in time. I'm going to put water all the way around the outside and then we'll put all the food in there. And what will happen is the hot water, it acts as like an oven and it keeps your food warm while you're cooking other stuff. What I think he's trying to say is it's a wild camp in Bambury. <laughs> wild camp in Bambury? Yes. Have you looked that up, like? 
right so anyway that's what we're going to be doing um so i'm kind of hungry now like cause i've never had out eat since about 12 o'clock last night so i went 12 hours without any food disgraceful <laughs> you should have seen how much he did eat last night it was a small Oh, aye. Amount of food. Well, the big frying pan that was full of food, I think Rooney had about a quarter of it and I had the rest, like. And I was in food coma by the time I finished eating it, like. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, so Rooney's cooking that. And, uh, yeah, well, obviously got a few, like, little tales to tell you about um, <laughs> the joys of wild camping um, a little bit later on. Yeah. We'll not discuss that while we're eating food. No, no. But we will um we will be um just sitting waffling and having a bit of banter. So if you're there into all that, then stick around. If not, cheers for watching so far. But uh it's this camp is all about coming out and me and Rooney just sitting, relaxing, chilling out, and that's what we've done all morning. We've just been sitting chewing the fat, talking a bit a few war stories and things and bits and pieces. Eh? The relaxing, well, Rooney's been getting stressed out, like, because he's he's forgot to bring his thing. So I've had to go out and salvage, as you can see, some nice little flat rocks because he's fell out about five times this morning. And uh, so I've went and purchased some little rocks for him. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with me cuddly figure. <coughs> it's just the ground is very yeah. dumb. <laughs> Aye, but anyway, that's what um, getting. Oh, oh, look at oh, oh. it. Nowadays, Rooney is having a nightmare. I think right. what, what he needs to do is, when he, when he gets home, he needs to go and set up in the garden and get back into the rule of being in the woods and that and now camping, because... That was a save, man. Just, That's called a professional save. That's nothing. how the professionals do it. You know what I mean? We haven't even got any greenery in there, you know what I mean? So nothing's, nothing's going right for Rooney, like... It's not, but, but anyway, I, anyway, it's getting that bad. I think he's he's gonna drive me to having a can of lager. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, well, as you can see, it's beer o'clock. <laughs> Why not? We're on holiday, we're just chilling out this camp. Eee, that's Jimmy's lager, that it's not mine. I don't believe I drink that quarter one in the afternoon. Oh, it's never very it's very rare you ever see us drinking on an afternoon, but we just thought we'd have a, a sly can. Um because we're just sitting chilling out to be honest. That's what this camp's So what all we're about. doing is pretend to be abroad and like see if you were abroad, you'd be like going for a walk around the village now and like you might stop off for a little bit of light refreshment yeah. as you're um cooking and uh yeah, that's what we're sort of um, uh -huh. doing at the moment. So, yes, uh -huh. while we've had a walk around this very wet woodland, getting very damp on the outside, we thought we'll try and match it and um, make ourselves as damp on the inside. But with a brunch, apart from like we haven't got the weight of service or anything like that. So, yes, Jimmy's had to do a bit running around for us as he's telling you, but obviously. The lad wouldn't be able to do all these things if I didn't feed him enough food for a village. So Jimmy says, can I have a bacon sandwich? I says, how many bits of bacon do you want? He says, just 14 slices, please. You know, so <laughs> There's only eight in the packet, you cracker. <laughs> There's 14. You can kind of oh, count. That's because he's going to cut them in half. <laughs> no. Anyway, cheers, Rooney. Yep. Cheers, big ears. So here goes, big nose. Look but I know anyway. So Rooney's got the bacon on the go. And inside here in my little hot pot, as you can see the steam coming off the food there, we've got um, black pudding and sausages in there. So that's working a treat. We're not sure if we're going to have the beans yet, we'll decide that later on. And then we've got six eggs to cook after the bacon. But uh, yeah, happy days. Still raining like, not bothered like. I'm nice and toasty warm. I've actually sat here with my buffalo on underneath this jacket. And... Uh, I'm nice and chilled out. Yes, it's like being in some jungle, isn't it? It's very, um, yeah. what's the word? Um, um, Crap. <laughs> humid. Humid. Yes. Aye, it is. Yeah. It's very humid, but, so um, yes. But uh, just as you can see down there, it's, that's not starting to get boggy now. <coughs> oh, pardon me. But I, I found this frying pan. I can't remember who gives them. I think it was me. I must have my mum gave us a couple of old frying pans. That looks like a pizza. Wait till I'm moving round, there's a wanna. Well, it's the way I've 
interlink it son. It's so when I flip it with a little spatula, uh -huh. I can flip all 14 all right. of your slices together, you see. Right. But anyway, I think it was my ma gave us them a few pans, old pans, and I, I never hide things away in me. I, I, I store you're, you're loads, a, of, loads of crap in my shed, and that, that pan's come in handy. He's a human gerbil, that's why he's got so much gear. He stores it in these little pouches <laughs> of his cheek, so if he can't eat it that day, you'll just see his cheeks getting fatter and fatter. Look, okay, the thing is, right, when I'm walking around the streets, as soon as I see an oven, put in front of someone's garden ready for the strap man I'm in there and I get the shells out of them which now why? because they come in handy for when you come into woodlands like this and you can leave leave your um, shelves for your camp and you didn't go out buying grills you get them for nout it's called reusing stuff instead of it all recycling going in re aye, recycling aye, and I'm reusing it because I'm recycling it <laughs> instead of it all going into a, into a scrap yard with someone making money off it. There you go. On. Tip of the day. If you're out walking the dogs or out walking and you see an old oven, get the grills out of it, put them in your garden and you can use them for when you're going camping. Saves you a fortune. See you later. Right, yeah, we're going with the old wraps. A bit of a jalapeno jappy jappy, whatever it's called. Is gone on first, and uh, we'll give it a squish, a squish, and a squish, and a squish. Then we're going in with a bit of black pudding. Hands have been um, decontaminated. Um, a bit of black pudding. How many of these wraps do you want to have? Well, we've got box. six, six sausages, six, six bacon. Haven't we? We're not going to do the eggs. What we're going to do is we're going to boil them up and use them for snacks later on. So Old boiled eggs. we we'll put four bits of bacon in. Four? Oh, we've got eight bits in one. Right. And a bit of Japs eye cream. Just for luck. Then the folding. Sausage? Aha! A bit of sausage. Trying to keep all the sausages for yourself. A bit of sausage. I hope this will uh, oh. saved it. Oh, oh. Rooney man! I'm gonna take me where? Look, look at that! Look at that! That continues me oh, unsuccessful. Oh, I've got jalapeno all over my leg now. Yeah, I'll use. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'll wait for our first one, baby. Wait. Yeah. Up it. There you go. Looks good. The only thing is, I always find with wraps, it's always loads of bread first to munch. The black pudding. Mm. I'll tell you what though, Four I do really be. like that sauce. Two. Three. Four. Two sausages. Stuck the bottom. <laughs> There's one. Aye, look at that. Bacon's yeah. nice and crispy as well. And a bit more jalapeno, japs eye on it. Wrapping the looking thing up. So, cheers everyone. I've got to put the sausages left in there. And bacon. And bacon. For our seconds. And then we've got two custard donuts for dessert. <laughs> With a can of lager. And a can of lager. Right. This is what, um, breakfast, stroke, dinner. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon now. Still at a twerk time. The, the rain just hasn't let up at all, like. So we're just chilling out. Chilling out. No bushcrafty stuff, no building shelters, no nothing like that. This, this, isn't, this isn't the area for that, like. This isn't the 80s uh, music. Right. 
very nice, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Right, hello everybody. Right, I've just uh, heated up one of Rooney's meals in the pan here. Um, so basically, all he's done is he's brought some. What's this again? It's um, it's a, it's a mild salsa dip, which is in your jaws. So I put half of that in, and then there's a one of these meals here that he's made. So Rooney, what's inside of this, Nate? There's a. Um Pasta with um, what take a ragu beef and um, beef and uh, spare rib sauce, spare rib meat and sauce. Right. And uh, I'm just going to have a taste now, like. Yeah. I think I might have liked to have tasted it. Oh, there's something moving on my bag there. I think I went, might have liked to have tasted it without the salsa as well first and then added the salsa, but then I would have had to heat it up again, like, but yeah, it's really nice. Mm hmm. I just definitely something I enjoy, like. And get all the little, you know, taste all the little bits of meat and bits and pieces and that, like. Happy days. Right, well, it's about 10 o'clock at night. It's absolutely pitch black in here now, like, and I think this is going to be the last segment of the night. We've got the fire going in the background, and um, I don't think I brought his back for that to set the fire light, um, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to sit and enjoy this. I've got one, vod uh, one Jack Daniels and Coke left, and uh, yeah, I'm going to sit and enjoy that. That's nice. And uh, I don't know if Rooney's having his. Are you having yours? I'm not hungry at the Not minute. hungry at the minute. Right, well, by the time Rooney gets to eat his, I'll probably be a kip in bed because I'm, I'm a little bit tired as well. But mm. uh, thanks everybody for watching. It's been really appreciated. Uh, I know there hasn't been a lot of action in the video, but I'll make out of it what I can and hopefully you enjoy what you watch. All right. See you in the morning. Right, well, good morning everybody. It's um, half past seven in the morning. So me and Rooney are up getting a quick brew and then uh, we've got to obviously get packed up and get away shortish today. Yeah. Um, there's what places to be and people to see. I've actually been bit to bits last night, like on my hands and that. My hands are so itchy and I'm getting loads of little swelly marks. Oh. But uh, aye, it was a lot breezier and a lot cooler last night uh, in the hammock. So I had to put my softy jacket on. I had a right chilled out day yesterday. I don't know how much footage I've got. Um, we just proper chilled out. And we had an early night last night, wasn't it? About, yeah. Not yeah. earlier than normal. We normally got to bed about 2 o'clock in the morning, like, but I think it was about half 10, 11 o'clock last night. Right. So just getting my brew kit ready. Aye, it was chilly run the woolly, but it was wass run the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to yourself. <laughs> what, smell Jack Daniels in me cup? Not good. Yeah, so uh, I still managed to um, stretch my drink out all the way until lastminute.com. Actually, I, I had I had about a mouthful of Jack Daniels left last night before I went to bed and I just swilled it out. I, couldn't, I just couldn't be bothered drinking it. Well, it was the same as well with me last can of uh, Stella Artois. Aye, <laughs> Stella Artois. Stella but aye, it was, it was nice to be back out with Rooney again. Um, felt a bit weird being back in the woods for me, like, because obviously I've not been in the woods for a long time. Oh, but uh, I'm going to get back to the swing of it. I caught him stroking a tree when uh, he thought I was at the um, ladies' um, convenience. <laughs> First thing in the morning, he's still gone. Is it? Ah, you bugger. I don't know if I've got any gas left. Cause... Oh, I've got plenty, Jimmy. Just I'm not giving you any. All you right. know what I mean? Just like uh, eat yours and I'll eat mine and all that, you know. 
me share any brotherly love or anything like when? that. When? <laughs> I was brotherly love when it's me and you, son. No, I'd have not, like, I only do what you pay us for. <laughs> and I doesn't do much, like, because I didn't pay much. <laughs> <laughs> but I, um, we had, we had a good laugh off screen. Um, really, really good laugh, like, and uh, oh, we had serious conversation, oh. loose conversation, dirty conversation, and Jimmy talked a lot about food. Aye. And he um, had a lot of food. I had some, I, I don't understand why people do that. Put the stove on, put your empty pot on, and then piss pot around with your water, and then put your water into it again. I told no, you that it's on. If it was, what happens if I didn't have a camera? It was pitch black. And you didn't have a. And lot. I couldn't see the flame. It was an invisible flame from an invisible world. I didn't have the invisible. What would it? happen is you'd end up with two melons growing apples out their ears with a pair of size nine shoes. See, he, he didn't just make this up. You know, this is the way he is all the time, even off camera. You know. You know what I mean? It's first thing in the morning, he's literally woke up. He's normally like a zombie, to be quite honest, like, so he's, he's probably been lying in his hammock, touching himself for quite a while, thinking about having a brew with me. I was, actually. <laughs> I was thinking, he's going to be the... Talking about brew, where have I put my brew kit? Shit. <laughs> I've got that much crap everywhere. I'm sitting yapping away. Right, that's those electrics. Oh. Aye, so anyway, um, I'm mostly packed up on this section. You now I've just got a hammock and a tarp to put away and me other, me other bergen. So obviously I bought two bergens in because I bought that much kit. I couldn't remember everything. Uh, obviously I was carrying loads of kit in that really normally doesn't ever bring in any weight. That we need to use. Alright, yeah. yeah. Biggest highlight of this uh, two days has been um, it's been wetter than a notter's pocket, and um, yeah, near life, end of life emergencies with one's lug hole. End of life, oh, what a drama queen. I tell you what, that was nearly mixing with me one cell that I had in me, me head. It stopped the flow of oxygen going through that ear, out of that ear. If that had happened, who kind of thing he spoke? Could thought. you imagine he having to resuscitate me? You'd be all over us. Oh, You'd nah. abuse us. I want one of them proper masks that you put over the face because there's no way I'm putting me fit in my mouth on him. It's called a carrier bag. <laughs> <laughs> it, is. it is actually just punch a hole in it. I kind of find me spork, but I didn't need it. Kind of find me spork, kind of find me tea. You know, some people. Give them prepare before yes, they go to bed. But I have a nice carved spoon, teaspoon. Yeah, another little tip if you new all this malarkey. Before you go to bed, prepare what you're going to have for your breakfast and have it uh, ready because the weather could be very bad. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Put your <laughs> minky away. Yeah, so in any way, um, I had a lot of people screaming out for us to go back in the woods, so here I am, back in the woods. Hope you enjoyed it. The next three months I'll be on the hills again. <laughs> right. no. So I've got to save up money to buy more food. Right. Because obviously, you know, it's it's no cheap, you know, like coming away with uh, young James. James? James? It's, not, it's Monday, it's not Sunday. Alright, okay. But yeah, I waffle, waffle, waffle. Um, yeah, it's been it's been uh, it's been a pleasure being back out with Rooney, and uh, hopefully we can get something planned for sooner rather than later, and we'll go and do an adventure somewhere else. Um, we've got a couple of things that we've had in the pipeline for about a year that we need to get done and dusted, Rooney. That special one at the coast. Hmm. And uh, yeah. I've got a little cave that I'm interested in sleeping in. I don't think Rooney is though, so I'll probably do that by myself. Aye. And um, some of you, all the people might remember a book called Stig of the Dump. And he's always said that he wants to go and live in it like a <coughs> little uh, hermit. You know, it's running out. Aye, so um, yeah, and uh, obviously we've got a, hopefully a few biking adventures coming up soon as well. Um, Possibly coastal cycle camps. 
things like that. So stay tuned for all that. But anyway, we're gonna have a cup of tea. Uh, next thing you see us, we'll probably be packed up and saying bye bye to this swampy area that we'll come to once a year. And anyway, we'll see you later. Well then, that's the end of this one. Um, so as you've seen by time lapse, I took away the fireplace and everything and dispersed all the rocks from the areas where I found them over the other side of the wall and at this side of the wall as well. And this is the area where we're socializing in here. All right, so I'll talk about that in a minute. So we had the fire area just down here. That was where um, we've just been walking and that, so that'll sort itself out over time, hopefully. But it's nice and clean. Nothing hanging in the trees, no rubbish anywhere, apart from this carrier bag. It's full of rubbish, so remember, leave no trace as much as you can. Carry out what you carry in. That's the best motto I can say. The bottle of water there is to neck before the walk out. So I've got my Bergen, chest rig, and Rooney's day sack there. I've got a couple of poles left there. That'll be the only telltale sign, really, unless you come in this area within the next half an hour to two hours after we've left. All right. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's been an absolutely fantastic um, two nights out, really relaxing, had some nice food, uh, the, the breakfast wraps were really nice as well, like I really enjoyed them, but uh, Rooney brought some nice meals out, the first night we had um, a, a curry, and then last night had some uh, like a meat pasta type thing, uh, we only ate the one bag of that between it, to be honest, there was, a, there was that much food in it and uh, we just um, got rid of the other one. But yeah, some good banter going on. Hopefully uh, the video will show that it was more of a relaxing weekend than anything else, to be honest. Uh, we're just new to this area, sort of. So we'll be doing a lot more recce's off camera and hopefully find the perfect place um, to start hopefully setting up a new camp in the future, a possibility a possibility i'm not sure if i want to build anything ever again but never say never so in any rate i that's that's the main social area all sorted out and then we've just got Rooney's just being tidying up the lap, the top of that area um so we'll nip up and see him and uh see what he's got to say but from me i'd just like to say thank you very much everybody um, I know a lot of you have been wanting us to get out in the woods for a while and here I am and hopefully I'll be getting a few more woodland camps done in the up and coming months and uh, yeah it was really enjoyable so thanks again and from me don't forget like comment and subscribe please if this helped the channel okay and I love reading all your comments and I do get back to everybody doesn't matter how big the channel gets I will always make my promise to answer everybody back all right so in any rate he has Mr. Rooney. He's just necking some water, getting ready for the big walk out. Yes. First priority for going anywhere is make sure you're rehydrated, because we've been wetter than an otter's pocket the last two days, <laughs> and it's actually packed in rain, and, and it's got quite a crisp more feel of it this morning. And uh, yeah, the top was dry. What's all that about? You know what I mean? So I'm damper than an otter's pocket. And uh, yeah, just be prepared for the unprepared things. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, thanks for coming along, everybody. I hope uh, you've had a little chuckle. Not yet to offend. The only people I offend most of the time, anyway, is just Jimmy. But that's our pattern. Never offend me, mate. So yeah, we'll have a chuckle about it. Hope you have a chuckle. And um, until the next time, everybody be 
be a kind human. You bet. Right, and just a quick one. Uh, sorry, I forgot to show you around. So obviously, this is where Rooney was hammer camping. All right, so it's nice and clear. In nothing left in the Valley of Doom. Look at all these ditches. But he did pick a, a good area at the beginning, but he didn't wreck it properly. Yeah. My area here, the perfect pitch. <laughs> Rooney can have that the next time we'll come. All right. Just remember the five P's. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Okay, thank you very much everyone. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't know what it's going to be, but tune in and we'll see you next week.